Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Thank you all for the amazing support on the last video about the Realm Rework. It really did blow up and I think it's because of the Realm Rework is probably the biggest update that will ever hit this game. The combinations of the beacons, the Realm score, the dungeon difficulties and the new biomes I think will uh, attract a lot of attention of the community right now and I think a lot of players will be returning to Realm of the Mad God to try this out. But what will it do with Realm of the Mad God? How will this affect how events are designed? The amount of gameplay needed to be run in the Discord servers and how upcoming updates will be formed around this. Well, those I will try to answer today. If you want to stay updated on everything that happens in Rotom G, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get notified whenever I post a video. The main objective, the realm. Looking on how this will impact, I would say the whole game is going to be changed. It's even in the game title. The realm is the main objective in Rotom G. It's where you fight quests, find all the dungeons and go to the main boss Oryx. The realm score will change how you run the realm to get to Oryx castle and will allow players to play in their own pace and do whatever they want. Everything you kill in the realm will fill up the, this counter, even though quests will close it faster you can farm the new hard biomes and still close the realm. With the addition of beacons, it will affect the amount of different classes in the realm, and how you travel around the realm, of course. I think this will create a higher demand for realms that are low populated and will spread players to some of the dead servers that we can see today. I think also guild play will be increased, so you can have a realm in a low populated server that your whole guild is in, because it's very easy to be 10 15 people in a realm with the beacons activated. Hopefully we will have some of the same system we have now with events, that we have the cube god, skull shrine, lord of the lost lands and the avatar for example, that will spawn around in the realm. We don't really know what will happen to the spawn rate of events or they might even disappear or belong to a specific biome in the realm. But if you want to be prepared for the biggest update in Rotom G in 2023, be sure to check out my 4000 gold giveaway after you've seen this video. Also, two battle passes will be given away and I will pick the winners in around 4 days. The Discords The past year's Discords have taken over the main objective and what most of the mid to end game players are doing in the game right now. This is the main function to access the endgame content in the game in one good group and unfortunately this is moving people from the realm to different bazaars. This has really divided the community in what you could say is two parts. One part that have access to the discord servers and runs a lot of endgame content that way. And one that focuses on the realm and rarely does endgame content since the realm groups are often not being that experienced and well geared. Decca has tried to move attention to the realm with events like the Keeper and the 2 times event white event, but that's mostly all they've done in the past years. At first it was fun, I would say the Keeper was the main objective during the whole month of an event, but now it's very repetitive and is due for a change. Now with the realm rework update I think a lot more players will move from discord servers to the realm. I'm not really sure how many different maps but it would be really cool if scorpion had one map layout and minotaur another for example and so on. This could change attention from every player wanting to play on the most populated server because uh, that one maybe don't have the specific realm you do want. The risk with an update like this is the creation of realm based discords. It will probably happen but hopefully no one will be needed to join a discord to have a great time in the realm. Events. One big thing I think Deca will try to create is more realm focused events. I think that the Keeper, Biff or some others of the seasonal bosses in the realm is very outdated 
Now Decker could change different biomes with events, maybe add one boss in every biome that when killed spawns one big boss quest. Their options are really limitless when it comes to events. And with the introduction of more realm focused events, I think the amount of chest events needed in the game is going to decrease and that might increase the demand for the chest events because they are very repetitive and maybe we could see a split of a 50-50 with realm events and the other half will be chest events. Returning players. Well, I can gladly say that based on my video about the Realm rework, people have never showed that much engagement for an update. Instead of people saying that they will quit the game, there are so many messages saying, well, it's maybe time for me to come back. Despite players quitting over time, I think a lot of them haven't quit forever. It seems we will have a large amount of players returning to the game with this update. This is go good both for the players in general and also DECA, which long term will be good for the game. DECA have done much recently that have just kept me motivated for a great future. Maybe I haven't played that much, but it keeps me engaged with what happens in the game. The Moonlight Village, the battle passes, even though the first one was pretty shit, seasonal characters and the tease for the realm rework have been necessary things for the game to be kept alive and players happy. What do you think about this? Will the amount of discords decrease and what will be the coolest thing in the new realm? Comment below what you think. Well, to summarize this video, I think we have a great future for uh, Rotemg and with the realm rework I think a lot of players will be coming back and enjoying the game since it's since it's one of those main functions in the game I think this will just be one of the main motivators for a lot of players to keep playing the game and have a fun time I will be updating every time Deca announces something around the realm rework if it's worth talking about i'll make a video about it you can join my discord server where you will be notified when i do a video i will be there if you want to talk to me uh, write to me just go into the general chat i think it's a pretty nice hangout place for uh, realm interested people thank you all for watching giving this video a like would be make me really happy and making me more motivated for making another video soon I'll see you guys later in another video. Bye bye. Have a good time.